Hey guys, welcome to my YouTube channel, Cybersecurity Ranger. Before I begin the video, I would like to request you to please subscribe to the channel. <clears throat> In one of my videos, I explained how our poisoning is done uh, by the attackers to launch man in the middle attack and then capture the usernames and passwords of uh, different services like HTTP, for instance. Um, so in this video, I'm going to demonstrate how to uh, prevent our poisoning and how to generate alerts if somebody is trying to our poison your machines on the network, right? So I have a target machine, which is Ubuntu. Um, if we look into the ARP cache right now, you can see here that the gateway is 36.2, which has a MAC address of 0050. And then you have the another IP address with which this machine has communicated and that's the MAC address of that machine, right? So first of all, I'm going to launch our poisoning or our spoofing attack to show you uh, that the ARP poisoning is done. So I'm going to open terminal and I'm going to use, there are different tools that you can use for ARP spoofing or ARP poisoning. I'm going to use ARP spoof um, I've used it before in one of my tutorials. So I need to give the gateway IP address and then let's start with the target first. And this is the IP address of the gateway. So hyphen I is for the ethernet interface for Kali. Hyphen T is the target, right? So this is one way our poisoning in which I'm trying to poison the target system, which is Ubuntu. And the same thing I have to do in the, sorry, in the opposite order of the target. So <clears throat> I'm trying to tell the gateway that I am 36.142 and I'm trying to tell the, the target 36.142 Ubuntu that I'm the gateway, right? So let's go back and check if the R poisoning is successful. So you can see here that previously 36.2 has the original MAC address of the gateway, but after R poisoning, the MAC address has been replaced by the MAC address of Kali Linux, which is ending with E7. And this is my Kali Linux, which is again ending with E7, and that we can verify in the terminal as well that the MAC address of the attacker's machine is uh, ending with E7. Now, the R poisoning is successful. Uh, how we can use uh, a tool like ARP Watch in order to look for these kind of uh, attacks. I'm going to stop the ARP poisoning or ARP spoofing, better to say ARP spoofing in our case. Uh, okay, so the tool that I'm going to install is called ARP watch. So apt-get install, install ARP watch. All right. Now, remember, if you're using a different version of uh, Linux, uh, there might be a slight difference in the commands that how you execute it, right? So our watch has been installed. Now, before I start the <clears throat> before I start the our watch, I need to go ahead and uh, create a configuration file for ARP, which is not there. So I'm going to create arpwatch.conf. In fact, I need to create it inside the etc directory. So arpwatch.conf. Now here you need to mention the interface on which the ARP watch is going to listen. So 
in my case on this machine, you can check by using if config. <clears throat> you can see the interface name is ENS double three. So ENS double three hyphen A hyphen N is the network address 192.168.36.0 slash 24. So ArtWatch will be listening or watching on ENS double three for this network address. Now, if you want to generate alerts and send it as an email, you can use hyphen M option and give the email right. For example, in my case, if I want to send it to us, Sadraza, sorry, sadraza.kdh at gmail.com. So you can actually uh, generate, but for that, you also need to set up the SMTP server, right? So that I'm going to cover probably in another tutorial. Right now, I just want to configure ArtPodge and show you that how it generates the alerts and tell you that there is art poisoning going on, right? Okay, uh, let's save this. The next thing that we need to do is to start ArtPodge. First, we need to enable it on, uh, sorry, ArtWatch at ENS double three system ctl enable art watch at ens double three sorry art watch and then i need to start art watch on ens double three right let me check the cache again so now you can see that since I stopped the R poisoning, so it has got the original MAC address back. Now, the R watch is uh, already enabled and listening on interface ENS33 for any kind of R poisoning attack that is going on or that will go on. So in order to see the alerts, I'm going to use tail hyphen F slash var log syslog now again if you're using a different version these logs might be generated in some other directory i mean the directory might be different uh, in ubuntu uh, we need to look for the syslog uh, now let's go and try to launch our poison and see if we get some alerts here so let's open the terminal again and let's do ARP spoof on 36.142, the Ubuntu IP address, and then the gateway. Now let's go back and check. Now you can see here that the alert has been generated and it says that it changed the ethernet address 36.2 to this address, right? So the alert has been generated by the ARP watch. Now, if you have configured it to um, send the email alerts by you know using SMTP, then it is going to send this as an email that's your MAC address has been changed. Let me just try to do it in the reverse as well, right? So as many times as I try to do this, it is going to give me the alerts every time. So let's stop this here and go back. And I'm going to again generate an alert. Again, you can see that Ethernet mismatch 36.2. So again, it has been written an alert that there is a mismatch in the MAC address of the gateway, right? So this way, basically, you can use ARP watch to defend against the ARP poisoning and generate alerts. There are other ways as well. Um, on the switches, for example, you can configure uh, port security. Again, I'm going to make another video on port security, how you can enable port security to uh, prevent ARP poisoning uh, by the attackers on your network. 
I hope you have enjoyed the video. Thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe.